Coronary artery disease CAD, also known as coronary heart disease CHD, or ischemic heart disease IHD, involves the reduction of blood flow to the heart muscle due to the buildup of plaque in the arteries of the heart. It is the most common of the cardiovascular diseases. Types include stable angina, unstable angina, myocardial infarction, and sudden cardiac death. A common symptom is chest pain or discomfort which may travel into the shoulder, arm, back, neck, or jaw. Occasionally it may feel like heartburn. Usually, symptoms occur with exercise or emotional stress, last less than a few minutes, and improve with rest. Shortness of breath may also occur and sometimes no symptoms are present. In many cases, the first sign is a heart attack. Other complications include heart failure or an abnormal heartbeat. Risk factors include high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, lack of exercise, obesity, high blood cholesterol, poor diet, depression, and excessive alcohol. A number of tests may help with diagnoses including electrocardiogram, cardiac stress testing, coronary computed tomographic angiography, and coronary angiogram, among others. Ways to reduce CAD risk include eating a healthy diet, regularly exercising, maintaining a healthy weight, and not smoking. Medications for diabetes, high cholesterol, or high blood pressure are sometimes used. There is limited evidence for screening people who are at low risk and do not have symptoms. Treatment involves the same measures as prevention. Additional medications such as antiplatelets including aspirin, beta blockers, or nitroglycerin may be recommended. Procedures such as percutaneous coronary intervention PCI, or coronary artery bypass surgery CABG, may be used in severe disease. In those with stable CAD, it is unclear if PCI or CABG in addition to the other treatments improves life expectancy or decreases heart attack risk. In 2015, CAD affected 110 million people and resulted in 8.9 million deaths. It makes up 15.6% of all deaths, making it the most common cause of death globally. The risk of death from CAD for a given age decreased between 1980 and 2010, especially in developed countries. The number of cases of CAD for a given age also decreased between 1990 and 2010. In the United States in 2010, about 20% 20 of those over 65 had CAD, while it was present in 7% of those 45 to 64, and 1.3% of those 18 to 45, rates were higher among men than women of a given age. Signs and Symptoms Chest pain that occurs regularly with activity, after eating, or at other predictable times is termed stable angina and is associated with narrowings of the arteries of the heart. Angina that changes in intensity, character or frequency is termed unstable. Unstable angina may precede myocardial infarction. In adults who go to the emergency department with an unclear cause of pain, about 30% have pain due to coronary artery disease. Risk factors. Coronary artery disease has a number of well-determined risk factors. These include high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, lack of exercise, obesity, high blood cholesterol, poor diet, depression, family history, and excessive alcohol. About half of the cases are linked to genetics. Smoking and obesity are associated with about 36% and 20% of cases, respectively. Smoking just one cigarette per day doubles the risk of CAD. Lack of exercise has been linked to 7-12% of cases. Exposure to the herbicide Agent Orange may increase risk. Rheumatologic diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, psoriasis, and psoriatic arthritis are independent risk factors as well. Job stress appears to play a minor role in accounting for about 3% of cases. In one study, women who were free of stress from work life saw an increase in the diameter of their blood vessels, leading to decreased progression of atherosclerosis. In contrast, women who had high levels of work-related stress experienced a decrease in the diameter of their blood vessels and significantly increased disease progression. Having a type of behavior pattern, a group of personality characteristics including time urgency, competitiveness, hostility, and impatience, is linked to an increased risk of coronary disease. Diagnosis. Coronary angiogram of a man. Coronary angiogram of a woman. For symptomatic people, stress echocardiography can be used to make a diagnosis for obstructive coronary artery disease. 
The use of echocardiography, stress cardiac imaging, and or advanced non-invasive imaging is not recommended on individuals who are exhibiting no symptoms and are otherwise at low risk for developing coronary disease. The diagnosis of cardiac syndrome X, the rare coronary artery disease that is more common in women, as mentioned, is a diagnosis of exclusion. Prevention. Up to 90% of cardiovascular disease may be preventable if established risk factors are avoided. Prevention involves adequate physical exercise, decreasing obesity, treating high blood pressure, eating a healthy diet, decreasing cholesterol levels, and stopping smoking. Medications and exercise are roughly equally effective. High levels of physical activity reduce the risk of coronary artery disease by about 25%. Most guidelines recommend combining these preventive strategies. A 2015 Cochrane review found some evidence that counseling and education in an effort to bring about behavioral change might help in high-risk groups. However, there was insufficient evidence to show an effect on mortality or actual cardiovascular events. In diabetes mellitus, there is little evidence that very tight blood sugar control improves cardiac risk although improved sugar control appears to decrease other problems such as kidney failure and blindness. The World Health Organization WHO, recommends low to moderate alcohol intake to reduce the risk of coronary artery disease while high intake increases the risk. Treatment. There are a number of treatment options for coronary artery disease. Lifestyle changes. Medical treatment, drugs, e.g., cholesterol-lowering medications, beta blockers, nitroglycerin, calcium channel blockers, etc., coronary interventions as angioplasty and coronary stent. Coronary artery bypass grafting, CABG. Surgery. Revascularization for acute coronary syndrome has a mortality benefit. Percutaneous revascularization for stable ischemic heart disease does not appear to have benefits over medical therapy alone. In those with the disease in more than one artery, coronary artery bypass grafts appear better than percutaneous coronary interventions. Newer and aortic or no touch off pump coronary artery revascularization techniques have shown reduced postoperative stroke rates comparable to percutaneous coronary intervention. Hybrid coronary revascularization has also been shown to be a safe and feasible procedure that may offer some advantages over conventional CABG though it is more expensive.